Hey YouTubers, Zendry here. I am back with another Pokemon Let's Go Eevee video. At the end of the last video, we got our Cascade Badge by beating the Gym Leader Misty. And this is her gym right here. And we are ready to continue on our adventure. After I stopped the video last time, I did a couple of things. I healed the Pokemon up uh, right next door, actually, at the Poke uh, Center. And I went back to the Pokemart and bought a few more things. Super Potions were unlocked, so I bought a few of those. And then because we had made some more money, I bought a few more Great Balls just to put in our catching pocket so we'd have a, some more um, while we play. And that's really it. So I'm ready to go. So if you guys are ready, let's go up to the bridge. I'm going to go up this way. We're Two things we're looking to do in this video is just catch a few Pokemon uh, up this way if we can, and I don't know what Bellsprout's doing. Oh, he found something for me. A pretty wing, okay, thanks. So we'll catch a few Pokemon up here if we find them. I think there might be a few trainer battles along the way. And we wanna go investigate the house up here. We're looking for Bill, because everybody was talking about Bill around uh, Cerulean City here, so we're gonna go investigate that. And I guess we're gonna also run into Gary. How's it going, Gary? Eeyarg. <laughs> okay. Oh, Zendry, you've got it. You're not gonna believe this. It looks like he's got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, po -po Pokemon, it, uh, ga. So he's upset to the point he wants to battle? <laughs> what? Wouldn't he just keep running? You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Gary. So not Pidgey. Okay. I, I don't I don't understand the story part of that going into the battle. Um, Pidgey, I hate to tell you this, buddy, but since the last time we we saw each other, I learned something. It, it's better than quick attack. <laughs> Bye, Pidgey. <laughs> poor, that poor Pidgey. It was worse than when I was playing Let's Go uh, um, Pikachu, because Pikachu obviously has moves like that. Oh, you can send out an Oddish, okay. And uh, he just kept having problems the whole time, so uh, poor Pidgey. So Oddish is poison and... Grass. I, to be honest, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember what is good against grass. Um, what are my choices here? Err, I don't know. I really kind of forgot to get my type chart handy, so we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> I don't know why grass throws me off. I mean, obviously, I know. Fire is bad for it, but I never can remember the other things. Uh, I don't want to do string shots. Let's do gust and see what happens. Okay, I thought flying was good. I wasn't completely wrong. Of course, now you've poisoned me because you're an evil, evil little plant. Alright, but I have enough time to go ahead and do this. I'll take care of the Oddish. And this is why I bought all those extra antidotes. Because in addition to Team Rocket, I guess now Gary's gonna make me spend extra money too. Good job, Butterfree. You're up to level 13. Look at that speed. Oh man, 27. Uh, and Butterfree wants to leave the, learn the move Poison Powder. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. Let's forget an old move. You're never going to use Harden. I'm sorry. I just don't give a care about that stuff. I want actual moves. Stun Spore. Now that one I'm not as familiar with. Let's see. What is Stun Spore? Is that also Poison? No, it's a Grass move. Scatters a cloud of knowing how it paralyzes the target. Eh. 
Do I like it better than string shot? That does lower their speed stat. That's one of the few that I kind of like. It's a kind of a, a debuff. Tack just straight out tackle though is good. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna move. We don't even know if we're keeping the butter free, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. Everyone's replaceable on this team, except for I guess Evie because. They won't let you get rid of her. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, we'll keep. Oh, shoot. Keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Sorry, that's. It's just finicky sometimes when you uh, use the Pokeball Plus. You're trying to hit, click the button in to, to select A, but that's the, the. It's on the stick part of this, so sometimes you'll actually make them make the choice move and so you end up clicking on what you didn't want to do it's just really a pain uh, all right you got Pikachu yeah I need to switch because I don't want to be a flyer and gosh he's only level seven but I don't think he would care too much about the um, the electrical moves so let's do that for a second let's just you know give him some experience points as long as he doesn't die <laughs> As long as he doesn't die, it's kind of important too. Maybe he can kind of get in, do like one sucker punch move, and then he can get back out. Pikachu's like, holy moly. Alright. We could do Stealth Rock. It's a level 13 Pikachu, though. Well, he doesn't have any more Pokemon anyway. What am I doing? It's not like that's going to help him. Help me any. It's not very effective. Well, that wasn't particularly effective either, but. What is. Is Bind the uh, same move we saw the. Uh, Ekans using against our team earlier, where it did like a little bit of damage every time. Yeah, we like that a little damage over time. Not bad. Let's keep going with this, the uh, rock throws. Yeah, he's still a little bit more damaged than we are, but oh, Pikachu avoided the attack. Double team do. Oh, evasiveness. Okay. I <laughs> couldn't remember. Yeah, I like Bind. That's kind of cool. I like having a little bit of damage over time while I'm doing other things. That's kind of nice. Like an Onyx here already. Need some more moves though, but pretty good starting set considering he was level 5 or something like that. Level 7, whatever he is now. And Pikachu, you're getting in trouble. And that Stealth Rock could actually be good on on some battles when there's you know more Pokemon around, like a double battle or a, um, just a fight where the trainer's got more Pokemon. I didn't notice it until we were already on the last Pokemon. So it'd be nice if he had like one more. Uh, Rock or ground based attack, too, for Onyx here. Oh, did he heal up? That jerk. <laughs> did I miss that? Now, does Bind go away? Does it say how many rounds? Well, I was trying, I meant to read it. <laughs> not actually, not actually use it, but. I, Okay, yeah, he avoided using the attack, so... I need to pay more attention. I was looking at other things, and I wasn't paying attention to see if, uh... 
So maybe you can only use bind for so long and then it won't let you reapply it. Alright, I think I'm going to heal my Pokemon up since you got to do it. Where's one of the good potions? Wait a minute. He didn't have that much. <laughs> I don't need to use the super potion on him. He doesn't have that many. Alright, Onyx. Doing good. Doing good, buddy. This might be the longest battle I've ever had with, uh, with Gary there. And it's because I'm trying to use the Pokemon that's half the level <laughs> of the other one. Yeah, I'll have to look up Bind and see if there's some kind of limitation about uh, using it again. Oh, really? This little Pikachu's a pain in the butt. If I have to, I'll just get Eevee and let her finish you off. Oh, so close. So close! But I've used up all my rock throws in this one, one battle. I have to go run back to the, <laughs> the Pokemon Mart real fast to deal up again. Man. Let me do that real quick. Really? If you didn't avoid every other one, it wouldn't be a problem. Gosh, what a pain in the butt. I enjoyed Fainting your Pikachu, finally. He's a jerk. Yeah, at least we got a level out of it. I, I knew we would get at least a level, but man. Alright, Pink Carry. Yeah, you feel, you feel calmer now? What? <laughs> that was the story point? You need to defeat me in battle to make me calmer? Okay, House Up Ahead of the Famous Poconut. Poconut. <laughs> Poconut. Pokemon Fanatic is supposed to live. I like the Poconut. That sounds great. <laughs> I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when you hear this, the Pokemon Fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Dun, dun, dun. Eesh, this thing might give me the creeps. Don't go in there, Zendry. Okay. Let's go, let's go heal up. Thank Gary. Sorry folks, but this just irritates, irritates me to no end whenever I, I've only been five feet out of the town and I've got to go back because my Pokemon has used up all of his special moves. Gary's fault, ma'am. Please, please take care of it. It's Gary's fault yet again. All right. All right, sorry about that. Luckily, it only took a second. Yeah, most of the time, I carry the little um, elixirs or whatever else they have. Yeah, but we're so early in the game, we really don't have any of that stuff yet. So I can't just heal up all my, uh, you know, PP points or whatever they're called. And looks like we've got a bunch of trainers standing guard. People call this Nugget Bridge. All right, five trainers it is. Bug catcher Kale. Venonat. All right, Bug catcher Kale and Venonat. So he's obviously Bug type. So we just. Did figure out that flying worked really well, so you know what? Let's. Um... He's bug poison. He's bug flying. It's gonna be interesting because he's sensor both bug types. Let's 
see how that works. But it also lets them catch up on some experience points. Actually, Venonat might be poison too. About it. Holy moly! Okay, that worked. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Okay, well, that worked. <laughs> As the old saying goes, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, folks. So, don't know what I'm doing. Try it. It works. Yay for me! I really don't remember my types very well. Usually, by the time I get to the end of the game, I've got them all over again uh, pretty well, but I haven't played Pokemon game in a while. Even Pokemon Go doesn't help because I don't really battle, I just catch in that game, so it it's, doesn't come up that much. You were challenged by Last Alley. Okay. Psyduck. We have experience dealing with Psyduck. Level 10 side up. Bam! I like how Eevee just kind of like a little bit of electricity like arcs across her and then she's just like bam. See you later. Alright, well there's another trainer. Give me more stuff. This seems like this is a little bit of a a gate in the sense that it kind of wants to make sure that you've got you're not still walking around with just one Pokemon unless you're intentionally trying to do that but probably have got at least a few Pokemon in your party and they're probably reasonable level and they're you know you don't have to they're not like they're not challenging you here like the hardest challenge it's, it's just kind of like can you beat a few in a row with kind of variety of uh, types and things going on and uh, just to kind of make sure you're where you're supposed to be in the game. I've seen them do this before. So let me see here. So he's going to be ground type. Go back to our buddy Butterfree for a second. Ground types just scare me because of things like Earthquake and <laughs> stuff like that. So scratch is not too bad. I hurt bad. I hurt enough though. Not bad. It wasn't super effective, but it still did a good bit of damage. And Shrew fainted. 59 experience points. Alright. Might have to heal the Butterfree up a little bit. Just a quickie potion. There we go. We got two more trainers of this. I'm number four. Getting tired? Eh. <laughs> I don't know. Department of Redundancy Department. There seems to be a lot of a lot of trainers on this bridge. Meowth. Alright, normal type. Eevee, normal type. Eevee. With a fighting type move. <laughs> Fake outs. Not a bad move. Ah, man. You're a jerk. Get you this time. Yep. <laughs> you slap me, I kick you in the face. <laughs> I answered your challenge immediately. Dottie agreed to level 16. Dottie wants to move, loot. Learn the move Sleep Powder. Well, let's look at it real quick. 
sleep mat, uh, sleep powder, uh, growth. What is? Uh, nah, I won't do that. I won't even remember to do that, even if I want to keep it. So we'll do that. When does uh, Bell Sprout evolve anyway? It's got to be like what 17, 18, somewhere in there. Maybe not. Maybe I'm, maybe it's longer than that. Right now it's tiny. All right. Let me guess. You are a trainer on the bridge and would like to fight me. Number five. I'll stomp you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How are you gonna stomp me, Camper Kevin? Not afraid of you, Camper Kevin. Growlithe. Oh, actually, that's, that's pretty nice. All right. I don't know if I have a Pokemon with a kind of water type move that can fight yet. So, uh, probably not the bugs. Yep, I think I think Gracie, I think you're still the best option. You are still the best option. Uh, let's try Bite. I know that's not going to be a tight thing. But it does help when they can't move. <laughs> Is Quick Attack enough to kill him? I don't know. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Awesome. All right. Beedrill, level 13. Good job, Beedrill. Beedrill learned Rage. Beedrill is um, probably going to be in the party by the time this episode is over or the start of the next one. I'm really digging Beedrill. I think we have to keep or sorry, her. I have to keep her around. All right, final trainer. But a move like Rage. How can you not like that? You just earned a fabulous prize. You got a nugget from the mysterious trainer. Okay, nugget bridge. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? <laughs> Dance moves and clothing change. Awesome. That's right. We're a group of de we're a group dedicated to do evil, doing evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Not giving us a real option to join. Team Rocket Grunt. But we wouldn't do that. We fight for justice and honor and the Pokemon way. Hi, Zubat. Zubat, you're a flying type. You are, aren't you? Well, Eevee is now an electrical conduit. <laughs> and, it, and a critical on top of that. <laughs> so sorry I fried your Pokemon. <laughs> At least it was over quickly for him. Coughing. All right, a poison type. Um... Seems like a great opportunity for Beetroll. Because he's flying and poison type. And he has rage! <laughs> I don't even know what rage does. <laughs> I just like the name of it. He's an angry Beetroll. Or she's an angry Beetroll, sorry. Alright, coughing. Yeah, so let's see, what does rage do? Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah, right, I can do. I was trying to do Y for info. I thought that was shaking the Pokeball Plus, but I guess it's not. Okay, well, forget it. Or about that some other time. Like maybe after the battle. Alright. Don't think this is particularly good against him, but I'll do it. 
trying it out. Yeah, not very effective. Okay. Coughing is just gonna keep trying to tackle me because he can't do anything else. But you know what? Heck, let's try Rage. What does Rage do? Oh. I avoided the smog attack. Seems like Peck did the best for as far as moves go. So we'll just keep working on that. Yeah, so B Beedrill's gonna avoid all these little poison attacks from these grunts and things, so. Yeah, I'm thinking Beedrill's got a shot here. I just never get to use bug type, so just I think it's fun. So I don't know if I can justify having two bug types bugs in the party, but nothing against Butterfree, but I like Beedrill more. You beat out Team Rocket Grunt. Yeah, I am that good. $300, please. You could be a top leader. Come on, think of the opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. Alright, how, how are we looking? I didn't really... Nah, fine. We're fine. All right. Let's uh, let's go look for some Pokemon for a few minutes, and then we're gonna stop the video and we'll pick it up there. I don't want it to get too long here today. Not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry for my Charmander because it's not getting stronger. So I want to give it to a better trainer than me. Are you interested? I've caught fifty Pokemon. You should catch more than that. Okay, so you're not gonna give it to me until I catch fifty Pokemon. Not really super interested in the Charmander. I mean, obviously that's a, a decent Pokemon, but I've used one before. Yeah, let's do that here. All right, so it's been like an episode, full episode now, more than an episode since we've tossed the Pokeball Plus trying to catch something. So this ought to be good. This ought to be real good. Uh, do I need... Yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and use Great Balls. We don't want to spend a ton of time with misses and stuff like that. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> that was so bad. Yeah, I, I need to, I'm gonna have to relearn again. Yay! Yay, maybe that caught up caught in the microphone. That was the bit of that going in there. New Pokemon. Excellent. 44 experience points. And then, of course, at the end of the episode, I'll have to decide if anything we catch here is uh, worth, uh, worth keeping over the rest of our party because I'm only keeping six Pokemon at a time. I saw your feet from the grass, and that's not a typo, everyone. I, I, I still see people saying, oh, they misspelled feet. No, they're saying, I saw your feet. I saw the deed that you did just then from the grass. So that is correct. You, it, it, she could have also seen his feet, F-E-E-T. But no, it's right, it's right the way it is. But I just, I laugh every time somebody... <laughs> It's just an interesting translation, that's all. But it's not actually wrong. You are challenged by Camper Shane. But that always just gets me when I see things like that. Oh, a Pokemon Company can't translate it. No, actually, it's it's fine. You just you're not realizing that word can mean two different things depending on how it's spelled. All right, not wasting any time. Buzzy buzz. Bam. Man, it just, it looks like it hurts, doesn't it, when it hits them? It really does. It looks like it hurts when it hits them. All right. Poor XP. Yeah, I was just thinking there might be, you know, two or three, four different things over here. If we see a lot of the same things, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not really trying to grind. I just wanted to kind of just show off the area and see what, what else is over here spawning. Also, if there's an item over here or anything, I don't know if we need another bit in that. I thought there was Psyducks over here, but I could be wrong. Three raspberries. 
So we'll kind of wait around here for a second. We may just catch that other internet for XP. We can do that. I'll probably go as well as the last one. Probably take three chances. Oh, he's moving. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well. <laughs> that just amazes me. So that's, see that was good because of the excellent throw and being a first throw you get more XP. So yeah, that was actually, that was actually worth it. All right, well, we don't spend too much time here. So uh, we're not starting a chain combo of Venonats here. All right, that's my, that's a Pidgey. We'll give it uh, just a couple more seconds here to see if we see anything that's awesome. I mean, I'm not really expecting awesome. That's not really what I meant to say. More Venonats. Um, we don't have a Meowth, do we? Or we haven't gotten a Meowth yet. So we'll try getting a Meowth. I think that would be enough for us to... Huh? Did a pretty good job of tossing that one, too. Yeah! Alright. Meow! That one's a great one. I love, I love Meowth. New Pokemon. 78 experience points. We got Onyx up to 10. Onyx was my rage. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. I really don't. But we will uh, we'll do that for right now. All right, Meow State will be added to the Pokedex. Fantastic. Professor Oak will be so proud of us. All right, let's let's head back up here. We need to kind of be uh, moving along, and we are going the right way, I believe. Yes. So we're up in that north. Okay, yeah, that's right. We're up in that north area. That's right. I forgot. It kind of circles around a little bit. All right, we'd love to go up there. Oh, man, I don't want the... Just got down from Mount Moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. So you know what? I don't want the video to get too long. So let's fight this trainer, and then I'll make a cut here and uh, immediately start the next video. And so uh, we can uh, keep on going on our little adventure here without... It becoming just too much, too long a video to, uh, for you know to post up. Wow, he's got an onyx. Let's see here. I think double kick makes sense for that. Yeah, I for some reason thought we we just kind of went straight up to Bill's house, but you know, I guess that's not true. And double kick. Mm, I thought we were going to do another double kick. Oh, his rage is building. Yeah, well, I knew his rage was building, but I was hoping to kill him before it mattered. Alright. 188 XP. Beat Higher Franklin. Got three Pokeballs. And I'm not interested in catching another Meowth. Buff. <laughs> I wasn't interested in catching another Meowth. Oh, that was horrible. There we go. Man, another excellent throw. Man, the Pokeball Plus is loud. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it reasonably away from the microphone because it's so loud. Excellent throw again. That really helps the, uh, the leveling though. So I guess that was a happy accident. Dottie wants to learn Poison Powder. What, what does she have? Um, I do like Poison Powder, I think, better than Sleep Powder, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh, 
All right. Beedra went to 14. Awesome. Excellent. Onyx to 11. Magikarp grew to level 12. All right, run, 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 run. All right, we got this. Uh, after all that, that's all it was. Okay. Well, you know what? Before we head back to the east over here, uh, let's stop here. And we will continue from here on the next video. And just want to say once again, thanks for hanging out with me on the Pokemon videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is a very young channel. So for all of you that have uh, been liking videos or hitting subscribe, that has really been helping a lot. And if anybody out there is seeing the videos for the first time, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you hit like. And if you'd like more videos uh, and would like to be notified, you can always hit the bell. Once again, thanks everybody for being here and we'll pick it up from there and uh, have a good one. Bye everybody.